Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D-P-O-V, and I'm back with another video. Today, we got some sneaker news, man. It looks like we we may potentially. I'm sure Wendy Lee and them already got these. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to see somebody on YouTube review a UA pair of these. Isn't these just like the Spider-Mans? I just thought about that. These are literally just like the Spider-Mans. I'm sure the material, you know, of course, is Dior and stuff, but aren't these the Spider-Mans? The Spider-Mans had the blue bottom, the icy blue bottom. Yeah, these are the Spider-Mans. These already came out. But these are about to, you know, they're Dior, Chicago's. So I don't know if these coming out or not. It says might. More Dior ones might release. All right. Um, okay, a few months ago, 2J Kicks said Dior is doing a Chicago Royal and Black and White Air Jordan 1. For more whispers out there, same thing, except no black and white. Just an all-white pair. All of these three are women's size only. Why are women getting all this stuff? Shout out to all my women, but... The fuck? Why do, I, okay, one thing I had I have about women's size, right, is that the women are not wearing them. The men are just going to buy the shoes, so that's why I don't even know why they attempt to make it women exclusive. The only way that it that it's truly a woman exclusive, like cater to women, is if they give women uh, colors that cater to women. If this comes out in a woman's shoe, bro, all the re <laughs> no woman is going to be able to get this. So I don't understand why Jordan Brand does that to like hype shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like with with like hype shoes, like with Jordan ones, they'd be like, oh, this is a woman's only, but it's like a colorway that men can wear. Why do y'all do that? The men going to wear it anyway, and the resellers are going to. It's just it's just stupid. So. To come out with a woman pair like this, like say if this was a woman pair, a woman exclusive, that's stupid to call it a woman's shoe because all the men going to be wearing it. So I don't, I don't know. I think that's kind of stupid. I think, I think every shoe should be men's unless it's specifically catered to a woman. And the only way to do that is to put women colorways, you know, like pink and yellow, you know, you know, all the bright feminine colors. But stuff like this, it's a man's shoe, you know, it's a man's shoe. But we are supposedly supposed to have three more Dior's. Three more Dior's. They cool to me. I'm probably not going to buy it. Well, shit, I ain't going to lie. I, I probably would buy it because the resale is, yeah. I wouldn't buy this shoe to, like, wear. Even though it is nice, but I wouldn't buy it to wear. I'm not about to spend a $1,000 on on those shoes. But then, hey, if I can buy this, I can probably get an off-white. Hmm. This, this would definitely be, like, a trade bait shoe. Got me thinking now. How much are the uh, are the other DRs going for? Hold on, let me just see what's going on in these streets. Seven thousand? Didn't didn't these retail for one thousand? Yeah, these retail for one. Oh shit, God. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, if I'm able to get these for retail, shit, I'll buy it. I ain't gonna lie to you. you know what I'm saying the reseller damn D will be in the building. You know what I'm saying? Shit. So yeah, y'all, y'all, let me know how y'all feel about these, man. We got. We can, shut up. We got some possible Dior's coming out. All right. We got the white one, Chicago way, and a royal. Where's the Royal colorway coming out? They don't have a mock-up of the Royal. But of course the of course the Chicago one is gonna be, you know, the most anticipated one. 
you know, everybody and their mama is going to go for the Chicago. I mean, but, bro, this is just like the Spider-Man. Look. It's, it's the same damn shit. I mean, it's a little different, but it's the same thing. Look. Just... <laughs> They be finessing, boy. They just, it's the same fucking shit. It's the same thing, but different. I mean, but of course the material is going to be different. You know what I mean? Of course the material, you know, they're going to come with that Dior material. Then the Nike sw swoosh is going to have the Dior. And, you know, I'm sure it's going to have its, you know, high quality end, you know, luxury type things. But, I mean, this shoe already came out, though, like low key, you know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion, you know? Yeah. Where's the royal one? This is not the royal one. This is the black and white one. Where's the royal one? Oh, they said that they're coming out with a royal. Oh, did they lie about that? Oh, it said what? What did it say about these again? Where's the other picture of it? <laughs> no black and whites okay so no black and white so where's the royal one so obviously the black and white so the royal chicago in all white okay well in other news we got some more jordan one seafoam how y'all feel about these I'm good on these. But I'm sure that these are gonna sell out. I mean, it's a nice looking shoe. I'm not gonna lie. It is a nice looking shoe, but I don't I don't even have nothing like that color in my closet. Like and I bet you like, yeah, like this shoe is probably gonna have like really good material. Because just for the simple fact that they put a material um tag on there. Like, that's just not like a normal tag. Like, that's, you know, it looked like got leather and suede on it. These are going to probably be, like, some very nice material. And and the laces are different. You know, like, they really putting some details into this shoe. So, I'm sure this shoe is going to be, like, you know, very detailed and everything. But uh, I'm good on it. Yeah, I'm good on it. It's nice. It's cool. But it's just... Just not my cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? Reseller damn D will be in the building for these. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Uh, yeah, I mean, come on. You already know. Double up, shouty. These are a must double up. A must. You have to double up on these. Like, these are a must double up. up. You just gotta double up because you don't know when these are gonna come out again. So that's, I mean, it's a no-brainer. Jordan 4 is lightning. It's like, come on, bro. Double, 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 double. Double up, shout it. I need these too. I ain't gonna lie. I like the Laker. It got the Laker colorway on it. I need these. It's like a... What material is this? Like a canvas? It's like a canvas material. I don't know how I feel about that. But I like the color, though. The color of it, definitely. I can wear it with my Kobe Bryant jersey. What material is this right here on, on the toe box and on the black panel? That's the only thing that's kind of like throwing me off a little bit. But the colorway is like, yeah, I need these, bro. Gotta have these. These just scream Lakers Kobe jersey. Ooh, but my Kobe jersey gonna look eh, nice in this. So yeah, I need I need those for the Kobe's. And then we got the Royal Griffiths. I'm thinking about getting these because these are classic and these are OGs. So. I still haven't worn my OG ones yet, but uh, yeah. So I just want to um make a video about the Dior's. Let me know how y'all feel about the Dior's. Let me know how y'all feel about the uh, Jordan 4 Lightnings. I mean, double up. How y'all feel about the Nike Dunk Lakers? I'm going to call them the Lakers. Griffiths. And the Seamoss. I said Seamoss. No, is this Seamoss? I said Seamoss. Sea foam, the sea foam. Whether that manager boy that needs signing out, I'm about to thing, peace.